Bismillah wa salatu wa salam ala rasulillah. So I'm back at the pond and um, today I wanted to talk about the, um, the, unfortunately the worst thing I've heard a teacher of sirah say. Um, so this is someone who is, has, uh, their sirah is, their classes are posted online and he's with, um, you know, a popular institute as well. And so what he was saying was um, uh, that he was describing the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and he says that um, his beard was full and you can see it from behind him, which is a description I'm not, uh, I haven't come across, or I, I don't remember. Um, but he, and he went on to say his face was fair and he had red cheeks. Uh, and he said, then he said, who does that remind you of? And for me, I couldn't think of anything, but um, there were some sisters there, and they said, they're like, they all said almost in unison that everybody said, oh, that's like Santa Claus. And Hashahu sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And at that point, I just, I, I was speechless. I, I just felt like this pain in my chest, like a dagger had been put in my chest, honestly, because I, I was so shocked I was so shocked anybody who has um, familiarity with the Sunnah and with the the Qutb Sunnah like the Hadith the books of Sunnah the Hadith the, the Sahaba the way the Sahaba spoke about the Prophet وسلم, or just even exposure to teachers who have uh, who have a lot of hadith um, uh, read and familiar with hadith they're not going to talk like this ever they will never compare our beloved Prophet the messenger of Allah with with uh, with the disbeliever with the disbeliever and, and so when these girls have said um that that person, he goes, yes, look how uh, the Prophet said his features are like the features of the most, you know, um, like cuddly person. I don't know how he meant some a very approachable person that we find in our, you know, in this culture, very approachable. And, you know, so his point was, he was very, but, you know, even that, it's like, you know, Sayyidina Ali was very clear. When he, when, um, when he described the, our Prophet him, he would say, you know, wh who, whoever saw him first, the first time they saw him, they would um, revere him or be in awe of him. And whoever got to know him would love him. Okay, so it's not like, oh, you saw him and, oh, he's so cute and cuddly. Let me go and hug him. Give me a big hug. No. When you saw him, you'd be like, whoa. You'd have a reverence, a deep respect. That's why he struck heart, struck fear in the heart of the believers for the the uh, riding of a month, you know, for the the span of riding of a month. So it's you know just to bring that picture that he is like you know, Sina Anas, so give, giving an example how the Sahaba described him. Okay, the utmost respect. Sina Anas who when he, uh, you know, the day he passed away, basically, when the Prophet him came out, he says, um, his face, when he opened the curtain, Sina Abu Bakr was praying, what, how did he describe him? He said, He said, as though his face is the, it was like the page of a Mus'haf, the page of a, of the Quran, of the Mus'haf. He described him with the holiest thing he could think of. The holiest thing that he could think of, the page of the Mus'haf, he described him. He didn't describe him like a page of, a, you know, even the Bible. We believe in the Bible, right? Believe, But we believe that these things were... He described him as the page of a Mus'haf. When other Sahaba, Bara ibn Azib, for example, he's he gives uh, he's talking about something, you know, um, like what things are not allowed in animals to slaughter if they have these 
um, defects. And he said, the Prophet ﷺ, you know, got up and he said, there are four things. And Bara ibn Azib, he pointed with his own hand, four. And then he caught himself. He said, but my hand is shorter, or it's not as perfect as the hand of the Messenger of Allah. And my fingers, are, my um, nails are not as perfect as the nails of the Prophet ﷺ. He's not comparing his hand to the hand of a disbeliever. He's he's just she did a motion, which showed that you know this is four things, and he used his own hand and he said, but they have that adab, that oh the Prophet ﷺ said this, and he said four with his with his own blessed hands. The Lord he he said four, and but he said oh when he caught himself imitating or copying the Prophet ﷺ showing his hand, he caught himself saying, oh, but my hand is aqsar. Yadi aqsar min yadi Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. No, my hand is shorter or less perfect than the hand of the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. I mean, the Sahaba, the reverence they have, if somebody is exposed to that, they will never make this comparison. It was it's the most horrendous thing I've ever heard honestly and what's troubling what's deeply troubling is that people who teach the seerah and they have those people who heard him they will forever think unless I hope they are you know they have some exposure and realize actually oh no the Prophet did not look like that at all he was um, you know, he was the most fit person. His chest was equal to his stomach. He never had like that, you know, pot belly. Hashahu sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, you know. Um, and so, and his, uh, he struck, you know, he, he was awe-inspiring, right? And so hopefully they, they'll be exposed to something that's more correct. But if they're not... Somebody who has, you know, especially in our day and age, somebody who has some kind of authority, people are not going looking at, is this correct or not? And that's why we should. We should know who are these teachers, who, did they, who are these people teaching, who did they study with? Did they study with people who know the Prophet ﷺ well, and who, who've gone through the books of Sirah and gone through the books of Hadith? No, nobody looks at that. Anyhow, so, I mean, that when you hear something like that, if you don't know better, it's going to stick with you. And that's the kind of, the lie that you're going to be telling yourself, right? You don't know the Prophet if you hear lies and just accept that. So we have to, you know, learn about the Prophet from people who are familiar with the books, really familiar with the books, and, you know, they have that, you know, intimate knowledge of the uh, the Prophet ﷺ with through his hadith and perhaps through other means as well, spiritual means. And um, those are the kind of people we want to take our hadith and sira with and our knowledge in general, right? So um, I pray that you know this uh, you know um, a reminder for us to um, you know watch where we take our knowledge from and inshallah i'll be starting seerah this week so um i hope to see you there inshallah alhamdulillah rabbil alameen assalamu alaykum wa rahmatullah